They are the stuff little girls' dreams are made of. Unicorns. The mystical, magical creatures have galloped their way into many hearts through the centuries. And if you've never seen one or been on a unicorn quest, now is your chance. Lori Atkins takes us to the Upper Peninsula to learn more about the Unicorn Hunters Club. They're fierce, difficult to capture, and often impossible to find. The unicorn is thought of as a mythical creature most closely resembling the horse. You've read about them in books and watched them in movies, but those who have never seen one in person might tell you they're not real. Especially when they begin to get a little crazy and cause some trouble. Just like any wild animal, some people love them, some people hate them. Depends if they're raiding your garden at night, I guess. The problem must be especially bad in the Upper Peninsula, where an old tradition is new again. Unicorn hunting. I hunt unicorns all the time. They, they like to hang around in my backyard. It's really annoying. It's kind of interesting and uh, entertaining to see the renewed interest in unicorn question. But like any hunt or quest, you need to have a license, and you can get one at Lake Superior State University. Most of the time, they're just like, wait, what? Really? You guys are selling unicorn hunter licenses? Like, what kind of crazy people do that? And we're like, us kind of crazy people. Daisy Fentiman is a freshman at LSSU and a member of the Unicorn Hunters Club, a club created in the 1960s and recently resurrected. It's totally unique to up here. I mean, how many universities have a Unicorn Hunters Club? The idea that, you know, you get a license and you can hunt them is totally UP. <laughs> I mean, we hunt anything that moves. But with that license comes some very strict rules and regulations. No artificial light may be used, very similar to deer in that regard. Um, but you are allowed to sweet talk them to uh, bring them closer. You're not allowed to hunt unicorns on Valentine's Day because it's a day of love. You always have to make sure the unicorns, their horns are the appropriate length. Well, they can't use bait. They can only take one unicorn a month. They can hunt them. Pretty much anywhere, Earth, Moon, uh, I believe the, it's the southeast rim of the Milky Way that is closed on odd years. Yes, you can actually hunt unicorns in outer space. Outer space unicorns are really dusty. Why do you think the moon is so barren and dusty in the first place? Unicorns. <laughs> Unicorn Hunters Club is one reason this campus will never be barren. Bill Ravy was the public relations director here in the 1960s. It was his brainchild. From that came a lot of activities, came the woods runner burning a snowman on the first day of spring, going some woods on the first day of the year. All those activities came out of Unicorn Hunters and brought a lot of publicity to Lake State. And it still does. It worked very well. The list of banished words continues to this day. The unicorn hunters themselves sort of drifted away when Bill retired. Today, Tom Pink and the rest of the Public Relations Department is back on unicorn duty, and the Unicorn Hunters Club back to getting licenses out to those hoping to get what might be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. We do personalize them with old-fashioned stolen ink. And for those who still don't believe, Maybe you just need to know where to look. Peter Thomas would talk about how unicorn hunting can represent many things in your life. Everyone's looking for their own version of, of a unicorn. If you are interested in getting your own unicorn questing license, head to our website, 9 for more information.